Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. Today I am testing out a whole bunch of new makeup. I did get this look with the new stuff. I am using the Dee Dee Signature Sweet Aesthetics collection. So she came out with an all matte palette, beautiful for spring and summer. She came out with like a, a single shadow that's got several different colors on it. She came out with a whole bunch of primers, like colored primers. I'm also testing out the new Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer Stick from Milk Makeup. I bought one of the new Lawless Cream Blushes. I used the Glow and Bronze Drops from Makeup Revolution and more. I will link everything down below in the description box, all the new stuff, all the stuff that I use off camera, everything that's on my face will be in the description box. And just so you know, this is not a review video. It's just me testing out things for the first time, putting on some makeup, kind of showing you my first impressions. Uh, take everything with a grain of salt. All of these things will end up in a speed reviews in the future once I've fully tested them. But if you are curious about these products, this gives you a little insight into it. And if you enjoy these types of videos, please give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoy it and consider subscribing if you aren't already. You guys, I am running on empty right now. I am exhausted. I just came back from a dance competition this weekend. So if I start jibber jabbering, making absolutely no sense, that's why. I feel like this video could be a disaster, but let's hope for the best. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the new Fenty Beauty lip oil. I'm gonna put this on my lips while I get ready. So this is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Oil, Luminizing Lip Oil and Gloss. I got mine in Super Fine Sugar. I got mine off of Sephora and it retails for $26. So I had the Fenty Skin Cherry Balm Lip Oil, favorite lip oil of all of all time. The best lip oil, super nourishing, thick. It's like a thick one. Smelt just like Luden's cherry cough drops. If you know, you know. Amazing. I used it all up. It was pretty small, unfortunately. Like there's not a ton of product in it. This one has a lot more product. I mean, at least it looks like it than the other one does. And it is in the gloss bomb packaging, which the other one wasn't. This is really pretty like clear with a golden sparkle. And something that I noticed when I swatched this was the texture definitely feels different. Like I said, with the other one, it is definitely thick. This one is a little thinner. And the actual doe foot is very interesting. It's like a cupped palm. That's the only way I know how to describe it. Very interesting applicator. So I'm gonna put this on. You have no idea how hard it was to resist the urge to use this before coming on camera, so. It smells really good, like very faint, like sweet baked goods scent. Oh yeah, look, very strong golden glitter, sparkle, whatever. Mmm. Ugh. Oh. Fenty Beauty just knows how to do lip products so well, in my opinion. It feels so good. It does not feel as thick as the Fenty skin. It's like it's hugging my lips. It's giving it a warm hug. I would say in the middle of the road in terms of thickness, not super thin, not super thick, right in the middle. It doesn't feel exactly like a gloss. It feels a little more oily, a little more balmy. Really nice, really, really nice. And I definitely could see myself using this as a gloss, maybe over a lip liner, over some lipstick because it has that golden sparkle, so. I just love Fenty Beauty lip products. So for my eyes today, I've already primed my eyes. I'm gonna go in with the DD Signature Sweet Aesthetic Eyeshadow Palette. Very excited to use this. It is an all matte palette. Very beautiful for spring and summer. Really excited. I did get this one sent in PR. Let me give you a little information about the palette. At the moment of filming, this palette is available. It retails for $28. It says, our Sweet Aesthetics Eyeshadow Palette is a true, fun, and colorful eyeshadow palette for spring and summer makeup. 12 26 millimeter pan shades with eight new matte high intensity matte shades. Apparently this is supposed to be a even newer matte formula. They keep improving their matte formula, which I think is great. And I do have an affiliate code with DD Signature now. It is just Rachel. It can save you 10% off your purchase if you would like to, uh, to use it. So I'm gonna use this. Uh, they also came out with a whole bunch of, they're calling them eyeshadow primers, but I might use one as a base, like, a cut crease kind of situation. There's all different colors. This like darker brown, this kind of beigey with yellow undertone. We have a pure white. 
we have a black, we have a, like a pastel blue, a pastel yellow, a coral, and a light pink. So all kinds of different things. Very excited to try those out. I'm not gonna use it as a pure eyeshadow primer just because I wanna test out the palette with a primer I know works so that if there are any issues, oh look, Ringo is joining us. He never comes up on the back. Ringo, Ringo, Ringo. He's eating one of the fake leaves, that's why. Come say hello. He does not like to be picked up. This is Ringo. Oh, this is my big boy. Okay, he's had enough. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> anyway, and then the last thing that they came out with is this Sweet Aesthetics Pressed Pigment. I think I am going to just do an all matte look today. I don't know that I'm gonna go into this, but it is like a rainbow striped metallic shadow. I don't know. So you can get the entire collection for $108. It says that it's a launch day sale. So I don't know if this will still be going on by the time you're seeing this. This uh, single eyeshadow retails for $14.99. The bases retail for $9.99 each, or you can get all of them for $75. So, okay. I have so much cat hair in this lip oil right now. Listen, we're just gonna play today. Let's see what happens. I'm not really sure where this is gonna go. So, <laughs> I first wanna go in with the shade Sunflower, this yellow. Looks really beautiful. I'm going to use a Fantasy Cosmetica E05, just like a fluffy blending brush. And I wanna put this in my crease, more in the inner part of my crease. You have to let me know if you picked anything up from this collection from Dee Dee's. I've really been enjoying their launches this year. I really, really enjoy their shimmer formula, but I do love that they are improving their matte formula. That's really cool that they're listening to their customer. This yellow is showing up great, like very pigmented and I'm using a pretty fluffy brush, so that's a good sign. I'm gonna go in with another fluffy brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Peony, this like pastel, it's not quite pastel, it's a little, little deeper than a pastel pink, and put this in the outer part of my crease. That's blending great, showing up great. Beautiful. So far, so good. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Singe E06 brush, and I'm gonna go into the shade Rose, that just slightly deeper pink, and put that in the outer corner. It's not even really deeper, it's just more vibrant. As you can see, that pink showed up very vibrant. It's good, it's a little on the thin side. So I did have to kind of work to build it up, but it's still good, like it got there. My cats are now deciding it's time to play fight near like a bunch of bags. So if you're hearing the crinkling, <laughs> that's what it is. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Blend Bunny B5 brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Dahlia, that really pretty coral. And I'm gonna put this in the crease like where the yellow is. And I'm not gonna be too precise because I am gonna go over that area with a one of the bases. I just wanna get that color in there. Oh, that is a beautiful color. I just love anything having to do with orange. Beautiful color. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, I love that. Oh. <sighs> I think I wanna use the pink. This one is in the shade Barbie. This brush is my favorite brush for doing a cut crease. It is like a little mini fan brush. I don't know if you can see. It's from Alamar Cosmetics. Unfortunately, it's only sold in a set, but fortunately, the other two brushes in the set are brushes that I love as well. It comes with kind of a more densely packed packing brush. I love this for the inner corner. And then it comes with another one of my favorite brushes, this itty bitty bitty, very fluffy blending brush. I love for my lower lashes. I hope that this brush set is still available. If it is, I will link it down below. But this one I love for a cut crease. So I am going to take the pink uh, Barbie eyeshadow primer. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand first. And then I am going to pick it up on the top, like just the tips, tips, tip of the fan. I'm going to go and draw this 
or paint it, I guess. It's a little more like painting through the crease. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. That is really, really pretty. All right, so I just finished up the other eye. I kind of was looking down for a little bit, letting this set down. I will say, I don't think it's completely set down. It looks like there's still a little moisture. I'm wondering if this is going to cause creasing because I actually don't want to set this. I want to leave it as is and I want to see how it looks as is, like without putting any shadow on top of it. I'm wondering if that's going to work or not. We'll see. All right, so let's go in to the complexion. I did prime like the outer portion of my face with one of my favorite moisturizing primers. This is the Pacifica Vegan Collagen Skin Solve Primer. Uh, I did receive one in PR. This one, I, I went through it, and then this one I purchased myself because uh, I loved it so much. But I kept my T-Zone blank because I want to use this new primer from Milk Makeup. This is the Pore Eclipse Matte Blur Stick. I do have like the liquid version, I guess, cream, liquid, whatever, and I like it. I have, my, my skin has been changing I feel that I am more normal to oily now. I used to be very oily and I used to really like to target prime like more my chin area with this because that is where I used to get the most oily, the most acne prone was around my chin area. But I do want to try this um, on my T-zone. Let's see what this, what this does. So it says directions are apply directly to bare skin before applying makeup. For touch-ups, swipe fingers over the stick, then pat over makeup to cut shine. That's cool that you can like bring it with you. It makes sense. Uh, this retails for $36. I did receive this in PR from the brand. So let's try it. Let's try it. So it looks like this. It's got a little eye. And I'm going to put this on my chin. Doesn't really have a scent. I'm going to put this in the mustache area. Around my nose and then my forehead, because those are the places where I would get oily. So I'm just gonna put a little bit like that. Doesn't really feel like anything. I'm gonna put a little bit as I add more. Okay, put it down, Rachel. And I'm just gonna let this sit for a few moments. And while I, I do that, I'm gonna line my upper lash line and add mascara, and I'll be right back. I'm a little scared. Okay, because <laughs> I'm gonna use these bronzing drops from Makeup Revolution, listen, I've never used any of these drop type of things. And they sent me a glow drop in the shade Star Dew Gold, just like the highlighting drops. They sent me two shades of the bronzing drops. This is Scorched Light slash Medium, which I think is gonna work the best. I can't find the other one, but they also sent me like a deep dark one, which I'm showing you swatches of. And then they sent me a blush as well. Um, this one is gonna be close to my skin tone, maybe a little bit deeper, but here's what I'm gonna do. Just by the texture, I can tell that it is very emollient. And I know that if I put this on top of a foundation, I feel like it's going to slip and slide and act kind of funky. So I'm actually gonna underpaint today. I know, how weird is that? Like I, <laughs> never do something like that, but I am going to take some of the light medium. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand like that. And I am just going to take a brush and I'm going to put it where I would put my bronzer, which is basically like my cheekbones and onto my forehead as well. This definitely is pretty warm for the undertone. It's pretty orangey, <laughs> which is maybe another reason why I want to slightly underpaint and not put this on top because I don't love a super orangey color for my bronzer, but if I can mask it a little bit with some foundation, it might look a little better. They did send me these in PR and they retail for $12 each. And I just feel like this formula is going to look better on bare skin. Like I, I just don't see it going well over foundation, but you'll have to let me know if you picked picked any of these up and if you have used them on top of foundation, what you think about it, let me know. But I'm not someone who doesn't wear foundation a lot because my skin is pretty acne prone. I have a lot of discoloration. So I'm usually like, if I'm gonna do my makeup, I will put on foundation. But maybe if you're someone who doesn't really wear foundation a lot, you could enjoy this just on your bare skin because it is pretty, like it's glowy without being metallic or sparkly. But I just, I have a lot, I have a lot to cover up in my opinion, so. 
Okay, so that's good. Now, while I'm letting that sit for a little while, I am gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette because this base is creasing. So my advice is if you are gonna use this primer, really use it as a primer to go underneath a shadow. Cause I think on its own, it's not performing how I thought it might. Like I thought it was gonna dry down completely and it's, it's not really doing that. So I'm gonna go into Peony, that pink. It's gonna darken up a little bit, unfortunately. It's kind of not, not what I wanted, but I'm gonna take like a dense brush and just go over that with Peony just to set it so it doesn't crease. So that's the side set. See, it did darken it up a little bit. It still looks really pretty, but just not pastel on my skin tone anyway. And it actually kind of clung to a spot over there. Still very pretty. I'm gonna go back in with the Dahlia and just add that back into the crease because I just love this shade. I want it to be seen. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. So I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop in the shade five. This is probably a little light for me right now, but I don't wanna put anything that's medium to full coverage on because I feel like it's gonna cover this up and this is all I got. So this is what we're working with. Um, I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand. I'm gonna pick it up with my sponge and kind of just blend it uh, first in the places where this is not, and then I'll go over that spot. But this is good because it's a more of a light coverage. So I feel that you're gonna be able to see that bronze drop a little bit better. Kind of just feathering out the edges of the bronzer. It actually looks really pretty. It looks really pretty. Very summery. So that's with the Fenty Ease Drop kind of blended around it. I think that looks really pretty. I like it. Okay. So that might be something really fun to play with for the summertime to get that more like dewy bronzed look. Especially if you don't wear foundation, I think it would be really pretty as well. So anyway, okay, I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna put on some uh, concealer and powder because I don't have any new concealer or powder to test out and we will come back and continue on with more products. So I made a little boo-boo. I, I meant to put this on underneath my foundation as well. This, when I swatched it out, it's not very shiny. It's very, very lit from within, almost to the point where it's like, wh why even bother? But you know what? I'm just gonna try it for the hell of it. I mean, this is what I'm here for. So I'm gonna pick it up on my finger. Just gonna like kind of tap it out on the back of my hand, spread it out on like these three fingers. And it's definitely very yellow. Let's try it on top. I'm a little scared. That's gonna disturb everything, but that's okay. We're here to try new things. Yeah, okay, you can kind of see it. You can kind of see it. It's very, very subtle. Again, I think more suited for like no foundation, no makeup makeup. I don't really do no makeup makeup, clearly. You can see it there. It's not bad. Actually, it's not bad. It looks a little bit more on the skin than I thought it was going to. And it surprisingly did not mess up my foundation. It's a very interesting texture. I almost, I'm having a hard time describing it. It's not super oily. Like I expected it to be very oily. It almost has like a creaminess to it. I don't know. Actually doesn't look bad at all. I think it actually looks kind of pretty. All right, I stand corrected. All right, for the cheeks, I bought one of the new Lawless Pinch My Cheeks Soft Blur Cream Blushes. I talked about these in my new makeup releases and I was trying to talk myself out of it, but somehow I talked myself into it. Listen, I don't, I don't know. I'm a sucker for blush. I love cream blush. And this one, it's in the shade Starburst, is like a beautiful like corally peach color for summer. It's everything. So let me, let me give you some information about this. A weightless, creamy, velvet textured, talc-free blush that delivers buildable color to cheeks and lips with a cloud-like texture and satin powder finish. Retails for $29 and it comes in six different shades. I did buy mine at Sephora. So let me get a clean brush and we'll give this a shot. This is a Sigma F43. Let me coat the brush and I'm just gonna tap it off on my wrist just to see like pigmentation level. 
Looks like it's a little more buildable, so that's good. I don't know why I did that. This isn't a powder. The color is so pretty. Very pretty, very buildable. I would say not like overly pigmented, which could be good depending on your preferences, but I am building it up like I'm on layer like three now and you can definitely see it, so that's nice. That's really pretty. I like that. Just like a warm blush is very summery to me. I mean, I wear warm blushes year round, so who am I kidding, but. <laughs> oh. With all of this color going on, I feel like I should be on a tropical vacation somewhere. Alas, I'm not. Let's finish up the eye look. So I'm gonna go back into the palette. I'm gonna take a little a Fantasy Cosmetica E03 brush. And I wanna go into Dahlia, that coral shade, and just run this on the lower lash line. I'm in love with this color. It is like a neonish coral. So unique and beautiful. Love that. So beautiful. How many times am I gonna say so beautiful? I'm gonna go in with the Sigma E42 blending brush. I'm gonna go into Sunflower, that yellow, and I'm gonna blend this out more in the inner part portion of my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take this little Fantasy Cosmetica E02 and I'm gonna go into Peony and blend out the outer part of my lower lash line. I'm gonna go into this pressed pigment. I want to just, let's see if I can do this. I wanna just take this like very lower slice that is, it looks like a yellow to green duochrome and I wanna pop this in the inner corner. Just gonna take this little itty bitty brush from What's Up Beauty. See if I can just grab that shadow. Oh yeah, that's fun. A little sparkly pop, love that. And then for my waterline, I'm going to use Good Reef from ColourPop. You guys would not believe this package that I got from Sigma that has like so many of their lip products and I actually took some of them out. This isn't even all of them. Like their bullet lipsticks, their glosses, their liquid lipsticks, their lip oils, their lip creams, their lip masks, everything. So I think I want to use one of their lip products today. So I'm gonna go in with their Infinity Point Lipstick in the shade Peach Tea. Very cool like teardrop shaped applicator. This looks beautiful. Uh, let me line my lips first. A few moments later. Okay, so I lined my lips with ColourPop's BFF and I'm gonna go in with Peach Tea. Mmm, very glidey. Mmm. Beautiful, like a peachy pink, beautiful. Let me let me look this up. What's the information on this? Oh, there's a magnetic closure. Love that in a lipstick, love that. They are doing a promotion right now on Sigma's website where you can like bundle a few different lip products together to save. And you can even save more money on top if you use an affiliate code, mine is Rachel P. But this lipstick itself is retailing for $28. It's a hydrating satin finish, yes, I can, I can attest to that. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, just for funsies, I wanna pop a gloss on top. This one is really pretty sparkly, like gold. It is in the shade Brilliance. $21 is the price for the gloss. So let me just pop this on top. Doesn't have any scent. It's pretty, that just added a little bit of shine. Seems pretty comfortable, it's not sticky at all. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna head off camera. I'm going to finish up the look, add lashes, etc. do my brows, and I will come back to show you the final look. All right, and this is the finished look, what do you think? I'm feeling like a flamingo, okay? Or like a tropical drink <laughs> in this. I am not really someone to wear this bright and colorful of makeup on a daily basis, but I think it came out really pretty. I absolutely, if you couldn't tell, I absolutely love the shade Dahlia. I think this is so pretty, just a really gorgeous coral, vibrant, very unique. You don't see it in a lot of palettes. Everything else worked out really nicely. Um, I will say with the bases, 
or the primers, you want to use them as a primer, as they're described, instead of using it on its own and not setting it. I definitely feel like I was getting some creasing. It wasn't drying down all the way. So just keep that in mind. But as a true primer, I feel like it made that shadow on my lid a little bit more vibrant and the lasting power is gonna be there, I'm sure. So I'm gonna play around with those. I'm gonna keep testing them out. And I will of course keep testing this out this isn't a review on anything, but I would say if you are looking for like a compact, colorful palette that you want to either create all matte looks with or to pair with some other things, this might be a good option for you. So very affordable as well. I love that. And I didn't really get a chance to use this except for that one shade and it looks really pretty. I mean, like I said, Dee Dee Signature shimmers are beautiful. As for the Fenty Beauty Lip Oil, first impression, really nice. I have to keep using it. The bronze drops and the glow drops from Makeup Revolution, I'm much more impressed with than I thought I was going to be. I think it came out really pretty as a bronzer for me. It actually looks really nice, a little bit more of a warm bronzer. I like that it's glowy without being metallic, without having like chunky sparkles in it. That's not something I look for in a bronzer, but it definitely adds a really pretty glow to the skin. And then the highlighter, like I did say, it's more of a lip from within glow. It's not super like beaming from outer space type of highlight, but I definitely can see it. Like I can see it now that it's on my face. I used it both under and over foundation and the products worked great. The cream blush is nice. I mean, it's a cream blush. It definitely reminds me like of the Sigma cream blushes where it's just a good staple cream blush. Nothing really miraculous about it, but it does look really pretty on the cheeks and yeah. I love this color. The pore stick, of course, this is definitely something I'm gonna have to continue to use over and over and over again before I can even see if it does anything for me. But like putting my foundation on top of my T-zone, it didn't make it sit weird because sometimes pore filling primers can make my foundation sit weird on the skin. But I don't feel like that that happened here. It looks, looks good, it looks normal. Uh, it is a little bit later in the day, so I don't know how long I'm gonna be wearing this makeup to like really test the staying power, but I definitely will continue to use that. And then the Sigma lip products are really, really nice. I love that the lipstick has a magnetic closure that's so nice, especially if you're gonna pack it in your purse, the cover's not gonna come off randomly. I hate that. And then the gloss is good, looks really pretty. So I think that's everything I used, right? Yeah. Uh, everything's gonna be linked down below in the description box. And now I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Did you pick up any of the products that I used today? Is there anything I used today that you're keeping your eye on that's on your wish list? Thank you so much for being here, whatever it is that you are looking for here on my channel. I'm so glad that you guys are here. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. And leave me a comment letting me know your thoughts because I love hearing from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.